بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is the episode number eight and we are going to talk about one of the fundamental principle of the subject of economy if you open any textbook or go to the first lecture in islamic economic any in any level you will find the introduction of economic problem or the economic problem what is the economic problem it talks about two things the limitless desire for people be careful of the word desire against a very limited or scarce resources that create a conflict and that conflict is a subject of economic we assume that the man come to solve the default of creation this issue which give an excuse for the subject of economic the economic as a subject to solve a default of creation and that in a way contradict with the principle we have introduced earlier or before that video which is the natural balance precision and natural balance if there you believe there is a precision of creation and the whole creation in 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 natural balance then there is no problem but in the traditional economic you have to justify the subject and they created that economic problem in order to give the man or human the authority to create that subject to solve the problem of the world this is one thing then as a Muslim it is contradiction to what we believe we believe in the the creation in a perfect uh, position and the economic problem which uh, is a fundamental in the subject of economics say no it's not perfect it has a problem and for the man to come uh, and solve the problem that's one thing the other thing is scarcity of resources is there a scarcity of resources yes but this isn't a default scarcity is a part of natural balance because everything in, in human term in this life is limit there's no limitless infinity and zero does not exist everything is has a limit and that limit is a part of natural uh, balance because without it either things would be infinity or nothing at all which is not but scarcity is, is specific and is very uh, calculated to create that demand for things and uh, scarcity is a part of natural balance we'll go back to the word desire why desire desire is non-quantitative uh, concept then we have to deal with it as an assumption you have to in order to believe in it to define what is desire 
desire uh, for somebody different from the other. Even for, for the same person, every day his desire uh, differs or change. This is one of the things which is uh, completely different from traditional economic and Islamic economy. The other issue as important as the economic problem that the subjective economic as the whole social science as they call it is positive not normative you might find it strange what is positive and normative actually they try to explain it normative is not what you should or you shouldn't what you ought or you ought not that's a normative positive is what it is okay this is a diff the, the 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 normative and positive for muslim this is the the a big difference now like the islamic the economic problem for human uh, science from the islamic point of view it has to be what you should do and what you shouldn't because as a human when we explain in the equation of existence the only creature has a choice then the problem is to find the right choice then the whole islamic economic should be normative even when you talk to somebody who has uh, or in the side of uh, conventional or traditional economic if you say you should do that no said no this is normative you can't do that but positive what it is it's a, a method for science which is science concern about non-human because non-human doesn't have a choice from the scientific methods you go and investigate the property which is fixed of that thing which is non-human you go to the lab as we explained and the, the scientific methods you go you heat it you, you freeze it you put two together you separate them this is science not as they say social science and as we phrase it human science then positive not normative suits science but not human science and those two big fundamental issue the economic problem and normative versus positive is uh, the separating the two subjects together where Islamic economic does not feel there is any economic problem and scarcity is a part of natural balance and Islamic economic is rather normative because it addresses the choice of human being than positive which explain what it is and what it is in which is rather a method of science for the material or for non-human if you put do those together you will get the fundamental difference between islamic economic and traditional economic inshallah we'll see you in the next episode